What's going on guys? Maverick P here. I uh, just thought I'd do a quick little video on uh, my experience working in IT sales. Uh, yeah, so right after college, so right after I earned my psychology degree, I got a job in uh, sales, which isn't that hard to do, honestly. Uh, <coughs> I mean, all you have to do is, you know, have a, any degree pretty much and, and you can usually find a job in sales and you know and the reason for that is there's tons of turnover uh, you know a lot of people get into sales and they just don't like it and uh, that you know they don't like that environment you know they, they realize you know maybe the company they were working for was was uh, you know just not that not that morally ex you know great you know, or, uh, yeah, you know, maybe they don't like the nature of selling, uh, you know, they don't like bothering people, you know, I mean, I mean, sales is literally, you know, bothering people, uh, you know, especially when you're talking cold calling and, you know, and usually if, if sales is the career that you're kind of going into, you know, you kind of need like a good year of cold calling experience usually. Uh, you know, kind of no matter what you're doing. Um, yeah, but so so I got a job with this technology company, in, you know, over here in St. Louis. And uh, I mean, re really fun culture. Uh, you know, it seemed like everybody there was was pretty nice and pretty positive. And uh, and so I was actually really excited about this job you know, right out of college. And, you know, just over time, you know, in the office environment, you, know, you kind of experience that grind of, uh, you know, just tons of rejections, tons of, you know, uh, you know, just constant calls, you know, you're, you're just holding a phone up or, you know, you're just dialing just constantly. And, uh, yeah, you know, like it's, it's kind of cool, you know, it's kind of fun. Um, yeah, you know, I I always believe, and I still do. You know, it's for me, it's always more fun to kind of have that one-on-one -on -one interaction. You know that you know kind of that in-person one-on-one interaction. These people are interested in what you have. You're interested in helping them out. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That seems to me to be a good sales process. You know, but. A lot of companies, it's more, you know, here's a list of numbers. You know, you have no idea if they're even interested. You know, call and see what happens. And, you know, it's cool because, you know, usually, you know, as a sales team, you know, you guys will be going over all these different strategies of kind of handling, you know, different responses, you know, that maybe your prospect may be giving you. And... Yeah, so, so sales is very interesting, you know, from, I mean, really from a psychological standpoint and just kind of seeing how you can gain people's attention and everything like that. Um, you know, like I just wasn't a fan of, you know, nine to five in an office. Uh, you know, I, I quickly realized my, my posture was getting real shitty. Uh, my diet was real shitty. Uh, you, you know, you, you know, it takes a s significant amount of mental strength, you know, you know, to be a salesman in an office or a saleswoman in an office, uh, you know, because, you know, people are constantly bringing in shitty food, you know, cookies, uh, you know, treats, whatever. And, uh, and, and you have to be strong enough to turn it down and be like, no, I'm, I'm not going to eat that, you know, because otherwise you quickly just spiral down into this disgustingly unhealthy office worker and uh yeah you know, so you always want to avoid that and you know and, and that was as that was one of my big problems another big pro like i just didn't enjoy you know bothering bothering just endless amounts of people and you know it just wasn't for me um you know but the same you know if you're thinking about doing it sales you know definitely you know, like if you're the type of person that's kind of aggressive, you know that, 
doesn't care about rejection uh, and then you're cur- and, and, and you see yourself as a salesperson you're charismatic uh, you know kind of that go-getter attitude then you know definitely try it out but you know but if you're at the same time if you're more reserved if you know you you really don't like the idea of bothering people for a living you know doing that nine you know 40 hours a week uh, you know again it's yeah you know it's not for everybody but it's you know definitely worth uh, you know you know uh, experiencing if you're you know you know if if you're interested and again there's so much turnover yeah, I mean, you know, like if you if you quit, you know, a few months in, you know, don't feel bad about yourself. You know, just kind of you know try learning, you know, as much as you can, and you know, and, you know, because sales is an important part of uh, of existing. You know, you're always selling yourself to some degree, and you know, so you want to take in as many lessons as you you can. You know, through whatever experience you're you're having. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so so hopefully this video was a little helpful. You know, if you're if you're thinking about IT sales or anything, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, yeah, yeah, again, my, my experience was only about a month long. You know, so I mean, it's not like I can tell you too much. You know, other than just kind of you know the basics of of you know uh, you know, and then you know it is a lot. Of, overwhelming information because technology is just kind of changing so often so one month you're selling you know this service the next month you know you're more focused on selling this service uh, yeah and a lot, a lot like that's that's just kind of the nature of of technology it's, it's just constantly changing you know so it is kind of overwhelming kind of being on top of your game with all of that and uh yeah, but, but I mean, I mean, it's you know, again, it's something exciting to to kind of experience. So, all right, see you guys.